Hi guys, welcome to Canvas of Dreams. My name is Utkarsh and today I am going to build an engraved LED nightlight. Powered by DC power supply, it only consumes 4 watts and best of all, it looks great. So keep watching and I'll show you how it's made. The stand of the nightlight is designed in Fusion 360. It's a fantastic CAD CAM software by Autodesk which also happens to be free. Design is pretty simple containing a slot for 12 volt DC jack, routed space for LED strip and an inset to fix an engraved acrylic sheet. I started off with cutting out front and back parts on the mitre saw out of a 3 quarter inch thick plywood and cutting a half round beading into two across its length. Next I cut out a rectangular piece from a quarter inch thick plywood which is going to be the base. I then routed opposite edges of the two pieces on the router table to make space for LED strip. With everything ready to go, I moved on to the glue up. I fixed the front piece on the base in a way such that the routed part comes in the middle of the base to house the LED strip in between, if that makes any sense. It was then followed by gluing up half round bidding on it. To keep all three pieces intact, I nailed it with a brad nail. Main strength of the joint here is glue. Nails are just to hold it together, allowing enough time for the glue to dry. Instead of nails, you can also use some clamps to hold this setting until the glue dries off. Since I used nails, I used wood filler to fill in the nail heads and gap in the wood joints, then sanded it down with a 100 grit followed by a 200 grit sandpaper to get a smoother surface. To have more control, I did this manually, but you can always use a sanding tool to do this job. I then cut the required length of the LED strip through a cut point using a scissor. These cut points are marked across the strip. Best thing about LED strip is they are self adhesive Just peel off the backing and fix it. Next I moved on to make slot for DC power jack. You can see that I was using chisel to remove the wood first but it's hard to use chisel on plywood so I abandoned the idea and used router instead. Corners are still removed using a chisel, but to be definite, a flathead screwdriver that's turned into a chisel. While working with DC power, it is important to take care of the polarity, else the LEDs won't work. The back terminal connects to positive, middle terminal connects to negative, and the one in the side is not connected. I used single core copper wires which I stripped out of a cap 5 cable. I pre trained the wires in the jack terminals and joined them using soldering iron. Pre training gives better connections. Connections are then secured with heat shrink tubes. I use hot glue gun to fix the DC jack in the slot. I then colored inner sides in black so it won't show up through acrylic once it's fixed. I then soldered the wires connected with the jack to the LED strips and moved the wires along the strip under the routed area. Once everything's connected, I glued the final piece with a base along with the beading and nailed it with a brad nailer. The next step was perhaps most rewarding because it was finally time to stain the wood. Before staining, it is required to smoothen the surface of the wood. I did sanding already while progressing with the project so I skipped that step here. I applied the stain with a small piece of cloth, then wiped it off with a rag. I wanted a very light shade, so I wiped off the stain immediately after applying it. Darker shade can be achieved by leaving the stain on the wood for a while. I downloaded the graphics from etc.com and imported it in RDGAM software where I aligned the shapes and did all the settings including a text. After doing all the settings, I ran it in simulator and finally processed acrylic sheet on the laser cutter. While it took me 2 hours to complete the stand, 
Laser cutter did his job in 4 minutes only. Pretty quick. Last thing left to do is to fix the acrylic in the slot and plug in the 12V DC adapter to power the nightlight. Thank you so much for watching, let me know what you think about this project, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the videos I put out. I'll see you next time, bye for now.